All praises unto Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Bahasham Warakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect throughout the four corners of this whole entire earth, no matter where whom they may be or what they may look like, pushing out this purified truth. To the rest of the church who believe as well, you men who may not be teachers or prophets, you women, sons, and daughters as well. The water to Yahweh Shai. Because without him enduring and going to that cross for the nation of Israel and the nation of Israel alone, none of this would even be possible whatsoever. The men that you see on the streets teaching, doing these videos throughout the week, they aren't doing this for no reason. We are not doing this for no reason. And us brothers doing what we are doing, we have to remember and consider we are not doing this for no reason. Okay, we are doing this. Because we are at that time where Yahweh Shai's kingdom is being set up and a division is being made. Are you with the Lord or are you not with the Lord? That's why we're coming into the time where the RFID MOTB will be implemented. And guess what? That is going to be a tool that the Lord is going to use to see who's with him and who's not with him. On top of him sending out his servants, the prophets, to, to teach and to minister to preach and to prophesy unto the world, okay? And with that, that's also another sifting agent that the Lord is using to show who's with him, who's not with him. Let's go to Matthew's chapter 10 and verse 7. And as ye go, preach, saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So as we go out and we teach on the highways and byways, we do that because guess what? You know what time it is? Like never before, we are in a time of the kingdom of heaven being set up. We are in a time of Yahweh Shai coming to deliver his elect and to destroy this wicked kingdom, to destroy this wicked system, okay? To make a change in the earth completely, to totally flip wickedness on its head and to exalt righteousness forever, man. And he's going to rule over all his enemies and he's going to allow his men to, to be joint heirs, okay, and those men will have wives who will also be set up in beautiful positions in Israel and will have children, okay, and we will, you know, live forever and ever and ever and ever in righteousness. This is what's coming. But right now, Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai is setting that, that, you know, drawing that line in the sand, so to speak. Right now, he's using his prophets, the men of the Lord, as a sifting agent to see what's what before that MOTB RFID comes, which will be another sifting agent to see who's with the Lord. He's going to bring a famine. He's going to see who's down with him then because you're going to have people willing to sell out to eat food. He's going to bring sicknesses and, 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 and death and destruction to shake up this earth. But it will be a time as it is right now already where the Lord is going to see who's with him and who's not because his anger is going to be <laughs> it's going to be shown at a level that's never been seen before, man. Okay, and as I like to say, the Lord is going to bring record breaking judgment to this earth. So let's go forward because you know we can't save nobody. You have to have your mentality, you know, set on trying to get, you know, basically delivered. So that you don't get destroyed. Because that's my mentality. I don't want to be destroyed. My people go ye out of the midst of her. And deliver ye every man his soul. From the fierce anger of the Lord. So if you were in your right mind. You would be in the mentality of separating from this wicked kingdom. Babylon. Separating from you know wicked people. Separating from things of this world. That, that war against the soul. Okay, if you were in your right mind, you would uh, deliver yourselves from the fierce anger of the Lord. Okay, being a sodomite, that's not delivering yourself from the fierce anger of the Lord. That's basically giving yourself over to the Lord like prey. When you're wicked, when you're being evil, when you're being rebellious, you're basically making yourself a prey to be destroyed by Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. No man can stand against the Lord. Who in the hell would want to do such a thing? So our job as we go out and teach and preach on the highways and byways, you know, that's also one of the ways that we show 
we are trying to be delivered from the fierce anger of the Lord. And we are trying to draw the elect of our people to be delivered from the fierce anger of the Lord. Because at the end of the day, it's already prophesied. It's already sanctioned for them to be delivered. Okay. So we can't be um, stuck in a mentality of trying to hold on to this world. And one way that we also show that we are trying to be delivered from the fierce anger of the Lord is to do what the Lord asked of us, because this this work that we're doing is actually our duty to do. This is Luke chapter 17 and verse 10. So likewise, ye, when ye shall have done all those things which are commanded, you say we are unprofitable servants. We have done that which was our duty to do. So being in this truth, being in this ministry, as beautiful as it is, <coughs> as hard as it may get, it's our duty to do it. This is what we were created to do. Okay? Just like a woman... If your woman is being good to you, you know, she she cooks, she cleans, you know, she does things that a woman, sh you know, should do. And then she comes and tells you, look, nigga, I cook, I clean, I do this. You look at her and you say, look, woman, you doing what you're supposed to do. Well, the Lord can say that same thing about us within his ministry. Yeah, we go out when it's cold. Yeah, we got to deal with the elements. Yeah, we got to deal with the burdens of, you know, dealing with a rebellious nation. But at the end of the day, we're doing what we're supposed to do. You know, but the but the beautiful thing is the Lord is fair, just like a man, although, you know, his his wife don't have the right to come and try to confront him and tell him what she does. But a, a righteous man will still want to reward her, will still want to show her that he's thankful. That just comes with the nature. But overall, nevertheless, you, we, you know, we can't brag and boast being the Lord's spiritual wives on you know, being in this ministry, we're just doing what the Lord has asked of us. But it's important because if we don't do it, then the blood of our people will be on our hands on top of our own blood, which means what? We'd be destroyed. So we have to be in the mentality of being delivered, being saved from the fierce anger of the Lord, because the Lord is coming into that point now where it's like, OK, I'm, I'm clearly giving you opportunity and you just blatantly, you know, just, you just keep disrespecting me, you know, whether you're in my face about it, whether you think you're doing it in secret, you just keep disrespecting me. You keep rejecting me. So the Lord is not going to keep on extending his mercy to this world because at the end of the day, it's only about the elect anyway. All right. And we have to keep that in mind because again, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And before the Lord brings that judgment, he wants our people to learn this truth. Let's touch on 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 31. For ye may all prophesy one by one that all may learn and all may be comforted. And the spirit of the prophets are subject to the prophets. So the prophets are back in the reincarnation doing what the prophets do. And we teach and we preach, we prophesy so that the elect of our people may learn because it's through this knowledge, wisdom and understanding that we are going to be stable during the time of Jacob's trouble. And the elect of Jacob will be saved out of that wicked time. Nevertheless, the elect of Jacob, just like everybody else, will have to experience that time as well for the elect of Jacob who are on earth. OK, so. We're not doing this for no reason. And it can seem like that sometimes, but we're not. Let's close it with this. Isaiah. Chapter 49 and verse four. Then I said, I have labored in vain. I have spent my strength for naught, and in vain. Yet surely my judgment is with the Lord and my work with my power. So. It can feel like you're laboring in vain because being in this ministry, it's not all peaches and cream. Everything ain't all good. You go through a lot. You go through a lot of tests. 
you deal with a lot of just stubborn and and rebellious people people looking at you like you're the one that made the rules you know what i mean but these are things we have to go through these are things that we have gone through okay but nevertheless at the end of the day we're not doing this for nothing even if it feels like it sometimes we are not doing this for nothing if nobody on earth listened to you, Yahweh Ba'ashem Shai listens to you. He's the one giving the reward anyway. Not people. Okay, it's not based on how many views or likes you get. Because these same people are not going to be the ones to reward you salvation. The Lord will. And now said the Lord that formed me from the womb to be his servant. To bring Jacob again to him. So, you know, the uh, spirit of the prophets are subject to the prophets. You're, you're made from the very beginning to be a prophetess that if that's what you're meant to be. Okay? Though Israel be not gathered, I'll just read it again. Verse 5. And now saith the Lord that formed me from the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob again to him. Though Israel be not gathered, yet shall I be glorious in the eyes of the Lord, and my power shall be my strength. So the Lord is our strength. The Lord is the one. That holds, that holds us up. And every now and again, you may fall into that spirit of feeling like you're doing this in vain. Like there's no point, there's no purpose to it. But this is not in vain. And some people may look at us like what we're doing is in vain. But Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai is not one to forget our works and our labor of love. We're coming into the time where the Lord, being as pissed off as he is, He's finally about to extend his 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 uh, hand of, of judgment to the earth to show you how angry he is. And, and you people aren't really considering what that means. You know, you outsiders, when I say you people, of course, you know, us who believe we get it. And we just hope that the Lord keeps that spirit on us. But for the people on the outside, they just don't understand what they have coming. They don't understand what's what's coming to the earth. The gravity of that. All right. All right, so we have a job to do, and we all have to have the mentality of delivering ourselves from the fierce anger of the Lord, because the Lord is indeed very angry. So I'm going to give all thanks and praises unto our power, Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Wa Rakakwadash, Shalom.